Welcome to another patho video. The title of this video is Parietal Cell Acid Production. Let's talk about acid production in the stomach. It's the parietal cells that are responsible for making the hydrochloric acid of the stomach. It's pretty cool that these cells are able to do this, but how is it done? The parietal cells are located in the gastric mucosa. Let's begin with the three main ingredients we need in order to make hydrochloric acid. They are carbon dioxide, water, and chloride ions. Carbon dioxide, being hydrophobic, diffuses from the blood and crosses the basolateral membrane into the cytoplasm of the parietal cell. Water comes from the blood and enters the cell through aquaporin channels in the basolateral membrane. Once inside the cell, carbon dioxide and water are combined using our old familiar friend, the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. This enzyme makes carbonic acid, which then dissociates into bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions are then pumped across the apical membrane of the parietal cell into the lumen of the stomach by way of a hydrogen potassium pump that requires ATP for its fuel. Lots of hydrogen ions in the lumen of the stomach is what gives the stomach its high acidity, or low pH, even down to one. The bicarbonate ions leave the cell by way of a bicarbonate chloride exchanger on the basal lateral membrane of the parietal cell. These exchangers put a lot of bicarbonate into the blood that is leaving the stomach. We know bicarbonate is basic, so this causes what is known as the alkaline tide, a tide of alkalinity in the blood leaving the stomach. Chloride that has come into the cell by way of a bicarbonate chloride exchanger then crosses the apical membrane of the parietal cell and into the stomach lumen by way of facilitated diffusion. We now have both ions of hydrochloric acid, chloride ions, and hydrogen ions in the stomach lumen. There are three main receptors on the parietal cell that when activated will increase the activity of the hydrogen potassium pumps to produce more stomach acid. The first is the H2 receptor. Histamine, produced from nearby entochromaffin-like cells, will bind to and activate this receptor. The second is the gastrin receptor. Gastrin produced by the neighboring G-cells in the gastric mucosa will bind to these receptors and also increase acid production. Last is the muscarinic receptor, which binds to the main ligand of the parasympathetic nervous system, that being acetylcholine. Hopefully you remember that activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest division of the autonomic nervous system, will increase activity of the hydrogen potassium pump to increase the production of stomach acid. Drugs have been developed that will block H2 receptors. These are called H2 antagonists or H2 blockers. A common H2 blocker is Zantac and can be bought over the counter without a prescription. Zantac is used to treat hyperacidic conditions like heartburn and gastrointestinal ulcers. Some people develop tumors in the pancreas that secrete large amounts of gastrin into the blood. This condition is known as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. Do you think if lots of gastrin activates the gastrin receptor more, which then makes the hydrogen potassium ATPase overactive, the Zollinger-Ellison patients would have excess stomach acid, putting them at risk for developing ulcers in the gastrointestinal tract? The answer to this very long question is a resounding yes. It is important to note that the hydrogen potassium ATPase is more commonly known as the proton pump. Why is it called a proton pump? Well, remember that a regular hydrogen atom has one proton, one electron, and no neutrons. If the electron is lost, then all that is left over is a proton. Scientists have invented drugs that will directly block proton pumps, and they call these drugs proton pump inhibitors. A common proton pump inhibitor is Prilosec, 
which can be purchased over the counter without a prescription. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below.